Hello everyone, welcome back. Before we're going to do whatever we can today, because I want to prepare uh, for another launch, eventually. <laughs> Probably not this episode, but at least uh, maybe the next one already. I don't know, but we will find out today. I do want to thank you all so very much for all the help. I'm not just getting on, on, on the last episode, but every episode. Your help makes, the, just your comments actually in general, makes this game a hundred times at least more fun than it already is to me. Um, it's amazing to see how you're helping the advice without spoiling, without... It's been amazing. I really, truly love what you're doing for me. So thank you very, very much for the comments, the likes, the subscriptions. And if I may ask, if you know someone that you think might be interested in my channel, would you mind sharing it? I would, it would be a dream of mine to have an, a, a bigger YouTube channel. I can't say anything else. More help, more people together. We've got already such a sweet, sweet, lovely community. And it's it's amazing. I, I would love a lot of that. So if you want to do that for me, thank you so very much. Now on my list, I really do have a lot. Because you pointed out uh, several things to me. I did check already some of my belts. Um, but they were... Uh, MK2 where they should have been. I indeed am still using, why I don't know, Habit I think from the beginning, uh, a lot of MK1. So what I did do at least is, oh that's the wrong button again, uh, where is it? I can't show that. Eh? At the bottom, the under the numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on, I changed the 3 and the 5 uh, into the MK2 versions so that if I click them and I accidentally forget to press E here yeah, to change it from MK1 to MK2 then now it's at least standard on 2 so that should already help me out I am slowly replacing the belts there where I can I know the MK3 is coming but I don't know what they require um, but I do think that yeah it already helps if it's all a little bit sped up the way it can be um, I think I want to start off before we're going to unlock things in the in the mem and the hub. Uh, I do want to show you now what I have been doing, and I think I honestly will change it uh -huh, again, split it a little bit more up because whatever happened, I don't know, but the CPU usage of this game is is really really high, and there's probably a setting that's that's changed or or. Um, I, I don't know, but I, I feel that if I, for example, run up there, that I have a split second that I stand still and then I can go again. So most of the time it's fine. It's just those little hiccups that I think maybe I should make it a little bit smaller. Plus that I think it is actually fun to have just several little or more more little factories um, uh, here and there on the map, which are talking to each other. That's... <laughs> That's the eventual plan. So let me first go down. Um, why that thing always has its light on? That's standard, eh? It's actually very, very good because you can't forget to turn it on. Okay, that one hasn't changed. That one is still making the basics. Uh, I've got two times iron guts. I've got two times the rods, two times the plates, and two times the screws in there. Half of it, is that true? Yeah, half of it is going ahead like we did back then over there and it's going to this setup over here um maybe i should not yeah no, it doesn't matter i was thinking what is a logical order i actually don't know uh these miners are still going this you all know i'm just constantly pulling another miner uh <clears throat> i'm putting one more to work uh if I need them, so if I don't need them, I don't turn them on. Here we've got the constructors, and as you can see, it's already a little bit, little bit juddery. So maybe, maybe I should pull this a little bit further apart. Uh, I was also thinking, and my son actually said that to me. He said, "Mom, why don't you 
Just let the ingots transform. Why don't you... Hey, you're making 120 there. Just bring it together and have just bells at the ready. You know what's on them. Could even go via container back so you know you've got the 120 that you can pull out of there. And then start spreading from there. Just pull something out. Um, you've got 120 at the ready. You need 40 for there so you know you've got 80 left. That might be an idea too. Maybe that works better maybe that and then i can pull them also to little other places but maybe if you've got another idea about that please let me know so here is the construction i think we already did a little bit in the beginning where i said i was making wires i can't even remember exactly what i'm doing yeah see the wires there is one it's going over there on to the top which is making the iron pipe that I've got and let's go upstairs and those are still not doing anything because I simply don't need them just yet um, as you can see I'm preparing I'm preparing for a new situation I will explain it so um, here are the iron pipes coming in I already got 200 here and these 200 are just for in case I need a pipe so I don't have to walk away for it. Huh? I do always two containers. One to use and one to, to sort of have. These are waiting. I have got a an, an, uh, lift coming out of there in the back which is going with a belt over there and that I will show soon. And what else did I do? Let me see. I brought this all up. Huh? My iron rods and so on that I uh, pulled from the first setup over there with a lift. It's coming up and I am using that in the first setups here. Here we are making the rotors. Um, as I said, I've just plumped it down. I still have to do all the, uh, the right settings. But as you can and will see, it's doing its job. Not the way it can do. But it's doing its job. I've been pulling rotors from here. <laughs> I've, I've placed them in here. So it could start making my smart plating. But as you can see. It did a good job. Because this is my spare container again. Uh, that container is full. That one is full. Um, it felt like it was something that was needed a lot. Plus I had those already from the other side. And it felt like a waste maybe to put them in the sink but maybe maybe i can i don't know i thought i stored them there they're not really in the way what else am i doing here let me see so that's going for the rotors that's then the stitched plates uh i've been using a lot as you can see i also got a lot on me because i started changing the belts and the lifts and so on uh, i know mk3 is on its way uh, but I don't know what I need for that. So I was like, you know what? Even if it's just MK2, I've got so much stitch blade because I uh, also have, see, containers up there. That one is also full. So I think I can at least turn it into the two. Just to be sure, because I love my gun. <laughs> I was like, why not? <laughs> I might as well make a container. I probably won't need more than that, but... I, d I don't know. You use some for shooting and you can stun and there is something with explosives. So I don't know what you use, but I was like, oh, might as well make some. Um, another machine was also making wire. I, uh, I don't know. I think I'm making plates downstairs. And here we are making more of these plates because together with the rods... We are making modular frames. And I know, as I said, I can do something with this, but I still find this difficult. So, um, it's making it. I'm getting it. Oh boy, and I think I'm full. Are you serious? Oh wow! <laughs> I didn't know! Okay! <laughs> one of these containers, as you can see, that one is hooked up to a lift and now I will show you a little bit up here um, I did not connect it yet because I don't want them to be on transport just yet but these two are coming together here uh, 
guess I, I don't exactly know what the future will hold. But for now, I think a belt will work. And I can always change it. You know, I love to do that. So it doesn't matter. Now, through the bush bush. Oops, it's going into uh, these lifts. Uh, let me see. I don't think I needed more from there. So I can always use them from here for whatever reason. Uh, maybe I need those those plates. Maybe I need... I don't know. But the option is there. And that one is going all the way up to there. And that then makes a turn. I will show you soon to my steel factory. Because over there, there where it sort of comes together is where I am planning on making... Oh, what was it called again? The versatile... What do we need for the... For the elevator? That The one that I need a thousand of in the middle. The top right. Versatile framework or something. So I thought, you know what? I will do that over there. Now I've got the frames. I've got the beams coming down over there. So that's something that we can then make. Make there sort of meeting in the middle. And it was funny and I've forgotten to write the name down because I already was planning this yesterday. And then someone said, you know what I would do? And he said exactly the same. <laughs> and I was happy then. <laughs> because it's always nice if you've got an idea that it's getting backed up by someone that knows a lot more about the game than I do. Um, another thing is that the concrete, the concrete situation... Uh, maybe for steel is one of the, the bigger things. I'm not entirely sure, but it feels a little bit like it. I do over there, of course, have... We will run over there very soon. I do over there have those two nodes. Where is it? Oops, yeah, there. I have got the normal node and I've got in the back the pure node. And I'm using them both. And um, I did pull some out. I don't know if you can see, but I did pull it there turning again. But it was standing still. It wasn't doing anything. So I just chopped some in the in the sink. And it might not be the best thing to put in there. But it's better than that it's standing still. I would love tickets. There's another one. It's a normal one. But it's one that I could also put on transport. I could put a miner on if needed. And just via a lift and via that beautiful construction <laughs> that I've got over there, put it on transport to the steel factory. So I think, I think, I hope, maybe, isn't that enough? I, I don't know, I, I really don't know. But I'm producing a lot of concrete already. This, by the way, doesn't stay. This is really solely to guide the... <laughs> the belts and so, so everything is is neat and i don't have to fiddle with poles and i was like you know what i will make a temporary uh flooring or maybe the flooring stays but then i just get rid of this uh lovely uh sled slide <laughs> i guess so imagine that how funny this would be in the winter <laughs> okay what did i do here let me see this is too far that's what i did here but i made sure there is kitties living here seriously somewhere and there's also flowers so um but i made sure that this situation um is all on the same height as you can see i've, I've done that on purpose because i could put belts over here and we go through the forest again i know but this is now what my copper situation looks like. Let me go downstairs here. See, there was a little hiccup again. All I've got here now left is my miner. And before we went forward, uh, but I took that all away. I also took all the flooring away and I actually love this. I really, truly love this. I love that green. I love that together with... Uh, uh, whatever I'm trying to make um, it feels I don't know <laughs> more I'm uh, more like me than when there was all that metal foundations over here uh, which helped me out in the beginning but I, I, I I'm sticking with this so this is once again I, I love to have nature in and I'm not done but I'm very curious what eventually will all unlock so 
Because I hope there's something like glass and you could put glass in here instead of these these concrete walls. I would love that. Uh, so yeah, that's just a minor. Here we're making just the things that I can make. I am making here... Why do I always forget all these names? <laughs> uh, the copper sheet, of course. I've got the copper wire. I know I've got iron wire also over there, but I was already making copper wire back then. Um, so that stayed. And then a copper wire is being turned into cable. Once again, I split it up. The top one is just to be able to pull cable out and the bottom one can go on transport wherever it's needed. If we then continue here, you see everything is at the same height. So I could make one big ring around here and just put everything, yeah, as I said, on transport. There you can see yeah, it's all coming from, from that factory. It goes over there to that one. It works. For me, it works. Here, it looks weird from here because I'm not <laughs> I'm not done just yet. <laughs> this, by the way, I find really finicky. I don't know how to do that. Um, you don't have half stairs. So they're always ending up. Maybe there's a trick for this. If, if there is, I would love to know it. Um, but just like the other stairs, then they uh, connect and you don't see it anymore here. If it's too far, it sticks through and I've tried, I've tried several and uh, uh, ways to try to get this neat, but I couldn't get it done. And sometimes it's just not on too high or on four high or whatever is needed to make that right. And that's something that I miss a little bit, like half stairs. Um, but again, this is all going to change because this is of course not convenient. But I did not know that I was going this big. I did not not calculate that. This is the old situation. Nothing changed. This is the one that I started using. Which I've showed up. Um, someone said, do you have the MK2 belts? I did have that here. So yeah, nothing has changed. It's just uh, making a lot of concrete. And I think we should have enough. And then the last thing that has changed a little bit sort of i did i found a very scary i <laughs> made an, uh, a backup beforehand uh, but i did also move this one because it was a lot higher and now everything is is just runnable you know we can we can go everywhere and uh i don't think we bounce our toes or maybe we do i don't know but i didn't feel it not yet the sink is now over there with some containers. Maybe that needs changing again eventually. Um, I don't know if there's a way that you can automate this with your overflow. Uh, but for now I just have to do it like this. I just pick up stuff and uh, put it in the sink and it's making my tickets. And it's nicely out of the way. I think. The man. The... Pfft, what's this called now? Oh my gosh equipment workshop of course and then the store it's such a cute little build that i was like you know what we're just putting that next to here and next to where my containers are where i usually just pull my my stuff out that actually started when the dogs started giving me all the items that they are giving me <laughs> because it is it's amazing i've been able to do so much just because of them Here is my uh, dimensional storage. And in here I have chalked something of everything. But I think there is a limit to it because I can't see it all. So that's the same as that the Mercer Sphere. It says one, but there is five. So <coughs> I don't know if you because it is per one they, they do stack i don't know i don't know why that is so yeah that's that's what it shows we can at least see a little bit more but something i thought you could see more so whatever fits in a container is visible 
hat here, but that's that's not the case. Fifty. Why did it take reinforced plates out? I've got them on me. I did check that, right? Yeah. Take from inventory before depot. I have no idea. The same as two. Why he had a full stack in there? I'm not entirely sure how this works. Cable, it's the same, full stacks. So yeah, but I think this is all. This works for me. This I like a lot, lot, lot more. I love to see nature too, and not only industrial. That's so here. I wonder. I did make a little list. We might as well go up there and then I can show you where the the belts are coming together because for the hub upgrades I will need to pick up some beams uh, and some other items I need pipes and so on because I do want to unlock a few things in in the tier 4 and I should be able to do blueprints whatever that is yeah I know what a blueprint is but I don't have an imagination just how that could work. Um, this this sounds amazing, by the way. That looks like a double container. And then here's the MK3. That's what you were all on. Uh, uh, someone was on the back. Uh, it's been mentioned, like, go to MK3. But I can't just yet. And this one I could do. And this is what I also need for, for there. But I don't know how to make it. Uh, let me see, and a miner, and I think that's then when it stops, because then I first need to make the encased industrial beam before I can do the last two. But we can at least start by picking some stuff up, and then in the meantime I can show you where I think stuff could come together to make uh, the versatile... Um, <laughs> I just said it! Ah! What do we need for this? Versatile friend. This I've got, that I don't, and that I don't. But that one needs to be unlocked. So, let's pick up some materials. So, now I've got it right, I need, let me see, 500 beam in total. So, I think I will just take a few extra, uh, just in case I need it for something else. You know what? I just chuck a few more in. Um, that's sort of already the spare container. Um, this is what I managed to make after the previous episode. Um, and then I will show you what I'm doing now. Because just like on the other side, I started uh, taking stuff which I then want to bring to the middle. Uh, once again, this doesn't stay, but it, it helps me now how to be able to get on top and, and connect it all. What I was thinking, and maybe I should just start connecting it because it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so, for there. Then we should get the beams. Um, there they come. Oh my gosh, beautiful. And I thought if I make sort of an, a straight road here, can you see it to the right? If you get out of my face. It was a good tip whoever said that, that you could press H and have it, <laughs> have your hands free. Because <laughs> the thing is indeed most of the time just ticking in your face. Oh yeah, and there while I was making uh, this here, I think that flower was hogging a Mercer sphere, so I picked it up. That's the same as there in the back. I was right next to it. I was just making the platform different so I could reach it and I saw all of a sudden the Mercer Sphere. Pick that one up too. Because that's actually another thing, eh? How many did I need again for the dimensional storage upload? Ooh, was that three or five? Maybe I've got enough then. Then we can do that at least so I can drink my stuff in while I'm on adventure. Now, here... This is both straight lines. As you saw, we just ran it. That's the one that I was showing you earlier, coming from my iron uh, 
Now, yeah, factory is a bit of a big word, but. And what I was thinking is to build. Uh, oh, it's been told. I can press a a button and then I. I'm sorry, I have forgotten. <laughs> I will just pull this one out. Did I need the assembler or did I need? I think so, eh? Huh? Let me just put it down. Yeah, see? And for this one I need the modular frames and the beams. So if I connect... If I connect... Uh, the belt that brings over the modular frames. Because you could see that I... It was just a tiny bit of a belt. Uh, but then I can bring that over. And I know more will have to be made here. But I can always change it if I leave it a little bit open. I think I'm in a lovely situation. Look at the view. I mean... Oh, look at that view. Hi. <laughs> Don't you dare spitting whatever out. <laughs> um, I'm surprised actually that they are still... Or do you first need to get rid of them before they... Uh... Huh. I always thought if you build, then the, the enemies will stop. Um, but what I thought was, if I just bring this all in and all the lines with materials, we can make another setup here, right? Just away from it all. How many does it need? Oh, there we go again. Can I see that? I can if I choose this, probably. Oh. So it can... How do I read this now? It can make... It makes two versatile frameworks. I, I'm getting confused with, with... With this. Two versatile framework. I don't know how to read this. And then it says five per minute. So that means it does... Two and a half rounds? Is that then correct? Because it does five in a minute it needs 12 beams it so that would then 30 oh, the see now and then I start to struggle it's not that I can't calculate it's just that I don't know which numbers to pay attention to ah I'm sorry <laughs> I struggle. I, I get... I hope you understand where where I... Somehow where it just doesn't fit in my head. Like, how how do I know... Two first star framework, five per minute. So that would mean times two and a half then there, right? Or am I totally mistaken now? See, and that's why my... my Factories aren't optimized. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> oh, let me see. You are perfectly in the middle. So I can already see that I will start to change this. Oops. But, eh, in my face. So if I just start on the whole line. In the middle. And if I then would work... Oh, do I do this very stupid? No, yeah, I should go a bit to the side. Because this is now not a line, is it? No, it's not. So I should just take this. Can't even find the middle. No! Okay, let me see again. Yeah, see there, if I do this one... And then I do want to have a nice... Oh, I wish that line would stay a little bit longer. So. And then I will lift it over because I want to be able to make crossings here. So we're taking that one. And I don't think it needs to be really high. Uh, yeah. I just realized I don't have power here yet. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, let me bring over some power. Then I also immediately will connect the, the modular frames. And then this one can, in the meantime, even though it won't be uh, as effective as it can be, um, go so we can start making the thousand needed for Space Elevator. Incoming! <laughs> hey, we're here! My goodness! Okay. I will first just make the one um, so I can literally see. I think it's just clipping with the with the power. Yeah, a tiny bit. Okay, that's not so bad. Look at that. Now, moment of truth. Ex big explosion here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's see. I can see that it already stocks up. So in other words, could I have two? Yeah, that looks like it. Actually fairly easy, doesn't it? I wish I could just uh, don't get so stuck on these numbers. Which one to pay attention to? Yeah, that really feels like you can have another one. So that, that actually means that I want to... I shouldn't fall off here. You know what? I know myself. I just... I I already did make... Oh, it's not on Zooper de Zoop. Because I know me. I always have silly things like that and then they just ploop off. That's just so me. Um... But let me see, then it actually feels a bit more like I should... Uh, oh, I'm getting all the stuff on me then. Because it's... boobs. Yeah, see? Five... <sighs> I, I don't want to overclock too much stuff either, because as you already pointed out, the power usage goes up by so much. But look, it's filling up quicker than it can make stuff, so... I hope someone can just show me, like, you, you work from there to then there, or you've got so much coming in and that means you could make so many per minute. 30 per minute, two and a half. Oh, <laughs> a little bit stupid now that I just don't see how that works. But it feels like I can split this at least up into at least at least two, or maybe even more. I could also put containers and just pull out. Maybe that's also a good idea. For now, I'm just going to put a container behind here. Um, Organization. I need a line. Pretty please. I don't see. Oh, there. And then. Boom. Left or right, we're making them. Oh, look at them coming in. I think you can make these pretty quick, eh? If you don't need. It feels like you don't need a lot of materials to be able to make them. It goes quicker than I thought it would be. I uh, probably will change it and when I've got a clear moment because I also know that when I record that I, I somehow block a little bit in my head. I don't know why. Maybe because I want to do it right and then I am yeah, a bit of insecurity I think. I think that that is a big part. So what I want to do and then now I wonder if I still got everything that I need. Or did I use some? Yeah, see, I used some rotors, of course. That makes sense. Uh, a concrete I've got, so I will pick a few more rotors up. And then I want to start unlocking stuff in the man. In the, 
the hump. Oh, whatever. I was doubting if I should go with a parachute. <laughs> <clears throat> or that I should... That's also not the first time. It won't be the last time. That's the wrong one. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me fill that up because I needed 200 if I'm not mistaken. Now let's see. Tier 4. <clears throat> Blue prints. Build gun upgrade. For blue. Very curious. Uh, let me see. You want the frames. You want beams. You want the cable. And you want concrete. You press the button. Bye! Milestone reached. Blueprints reduce repetitive building tasks, further optimizing your progression towards saving Earth with its beautiful ecosystems, abundant natural resources, and sunsets over frolicking puppies and kittens. <laughs> the blueprint designer allows you to build and combine structures once and then duplicate that configuration effortlessly. Any complaints about the spatial restrictions will only reveal your own inefficiencies. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, that's going to happen then. <laughs> so what did we... Let me see. Blue blueprints or something. Where is that under? What is logical? Nothing is logical. Special maybe? Oh, oh, oh. What the wait? What is that? Uh, before I I do this, is this something that I need to build and I am? It's not a build. This. I don't. Yeah, it's a designer. Okay, I'm just going to plonk it down here. And then I will need to take it away because I need the stuff, but... Okay. Once you have built a satisfactory blueprint, interact with the blueprint designer terminal to save it. It will then be available in the blueprints tab of your build menu. Blueprints can always be edited to correct mistakes or optimize. If you find yourself struggling to work within the set size restrictions, remember that this is a you problem and efficiency can always be improved. truth hurts <laughs> okay this is another big boy that I need to find a space for I assume so what I assume I can just Ooh. <laughs> can we do trees? <laughs> I assume let's do something simple. Select icon, then what? Oh And then if I were if I were to place that I assume in here I can save that and then I can always so if I were to make a floor of 4x4, four 5x5, four, five five, how big is this? 1, 2, 3, 4x4. Four four. So if I've got a layout over there that works perfect, I could build that in here and then make a blueprint of it. Save it and if I then need it again. I can just take the blueprint out and it builds the whole thing in one go. Is that how this works? And it can be as big as this frame is. So what has changed with my tool then? Did that automatically happen or... 
Or do I need to do something? I think you can go again. I need to find a space for that. Shoot, that's big. Wow. Or do I need to do something with my tool here? Let me see. No. No, I'm not missing it. So, I do automatically have that build tool upgraded now. Is that correct? Can I see this? Has this this happened now? Or do I need to do that somewhere? Oh, he's back! You're quick! Hi! And plonk! Yeah, park it. Good job. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> hey! <laughs> now, then we can chop the next one out. And that is... <clears throat> Distrust storage convey. Yeah, that's... Stackable pipeline support. Uh, again, 200 beams. And my 200 pipes. And a 400 doink. Doink, doink, and doink. And. Kaplonk! Milestone reached. Improved storage containers and the conveyor belt Mark III provide the obviously necessary tools for improving your current setup. Production speed is of the essence after all. So work hard. Work as if every person you have ever or will ever love is depending solely on the choices that you make. <laughs> because they are. Warning. Fix-it psychologists recommend not dwelling on the crushing mental and physical strain of your responsibilities and simply continuing to be productive. Hard okay. work has uh -huh. repeatedly proven to be the best cure for any kind of stress. Now back to work. <laughs> I've, I've worked so hard my whole life. Come on, eh? give me a break. Um, what did we get now? <clears throat> so here we now have got... Oh, you make that with beams. Okay. So... If I want to start changing this all, I will need to up my uh, beam production. <clears throat> So I think one of the things that I could do... Um, apparently I've got a recipe for molded beams or something. Uh, which... Oh, I don't know what's been said anymore. Uh, which required less iron and or cement or something? Uh, what am I making over there then? But I have got, as I said earlier already, got so much cement. So I might as well start just shipping stuff around, right? I think. <clears throat> it works fine with those conveyor belts. And I think it might be a very good idea if I make more beams. Because this is one beam per little segment, I think, that is it. And then this is two for the lift. That's not that's not expensive, by the way. What else did we get? We did get this. Yeah, that's that's also very nice. And what else did it unlock? I want to go to the mem too. I got so much. Oh, the storage. What is that then? Uh, organization. What is the what what? Can I? Oh no, it needs. Pipes, okay. But that is just... Eh. Can you just stand still? Can I make a hologram? Yeah. This is just a double container. In one. It's so funny, eh? You do something, you make things neat, you make things... <laughs> then you unlock more and then you're like, yeah, I can change it. <laughs> Okay, I did prepare more stuff. Oh my gosh, more stuff. Let me move some things around. Come on. And some cable and then we've got some beams. I think that was the spare. Um, 
Let me see. That seems to be in the criteria. Oh, yeah. Uh, back then we p picked up more hard drives than that I could scan. Uh, let me see. Is that this now? No. The library. Um, and I don't think you've seen them all. I think we had these, eh? These four? I'm not entirely sure. But... Oh, did I get one or more? Two more. This is at least the last two. I can't remember if you already saw this one or not. And then I got this one. A fused wire. Another. It's with screws again. But I've got... Okay. Um, no idea. I really... Really have no idea if that's handy. I, I do make the stitched one now, and that that one works really well for me. So, um, Caterium here. What did I think I prepared? Did I? I can't. What did I do? Because why do I have 10 of those? This one seemed very handy to also upgrade the poles. Confirm. Power pole mark 2 unlocked. This provides additional power connections compared to the power pole mark 1. Five hundred and fifty. Uh, why did I? I can't remember why I did this. Maybe I placed it wrong because nothing requires. But uh, the, the power power pole. If I this is the one that's got four. This is the two. I can't make them, of course. <laughs> what am I missing? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Oh, there's some wire. Okay, let me get some because I've got loads here somewhere in one of these containers. Yeah, see? Boom. I just, I just, sorry. I just wanted to see. If I then go from there. Eight, it's doubled. Oh, that's amazing! That saves a lot of poles. Uh, what did I see there now then? Could, uh, here. It's plastic. Yeah, I see that I could continue, but I did not prepare that. As for this, I need 50... But then also to build them, so... And this needs... 10 whatever these are. AI limiters. Because someone mentioned this, a smart splitter would be handy. Let me first go to what I prepared. And I, I still don't understand why I've got these. Uh, what's next in the box? <clears throat> Mycelium and rotors. Yeah, that was for this one. Bonk. Ah. Medical properties of local mycelia established. New research options available. Medical inhaler variants. It's with berries. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> How you with a with a, a swamp kind of thing. <laughs> you have to inhale that to get better. <laughs> oh, it is nice that you can make them with, with variations. That I truly appreciate. I really do. Oh, this is... Oh no, I need to make the fabric. And I still haven't found whatever that blue purplish stuff is over there. Yeah, soon we will go round again. And then this... Oof. 
Yeah, Nate, and then with the bombs. Okay. Uh, let me see. I've got these, so that feels like here. Yes. Nutritional inhaler recipe unlocked. Using this inhaler will restore health and also gives your skin a radiant glow that is connected Yay. to well-being and probably not radioactivity. Oh. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> There's always that little chance. Okay, so we did we did this one, eh? We've got one done. Wow. And then I've got a whole row which is I don't know. <clears throat> Is this one then? No. <laughs> this one. Shatter rebar. Oh my gosh, it sounds horrible. Okay. Tell me. Shatter rebar unlocked. These quartz infused rebars fracture when fired, launching deadly debris in a widespread. Fix it does not condone the use of such violent methods, so make sure there are no witnesses. <laughs> I will do my best. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> um, let me think because that one is back. Hi. And I think I can, in the meantime, then do the last one here, which is very important to be able to progress properly. Uh. I'm prepared. No, you're not. Did I use pipes or something? It's fine. It's just a click. One click of magic. See? Ta-da! <laughs> and look! Milestone reached. The Miner Mark II allows extraction of resources from nature to fix it at twice the speed of the Mark I model. Miners can be directly upgraded to Mark II without removing the Mark I model, just like conveyor belts and other upgradable infrastructure. Yeah, Unfortunately, setting up the production of advanced steel parts and project part number three, automated wiring, will not be as easy. Every moment you delay reduces the chances of saving humanity. I will not show you the predictions. It would only demotivate you. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't. <laughs> okay, so we've got... Uh, here, what does that require? Oh, the beams. <clears throat> uh, in case beams, I think they're called. Um, and two my... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So I will need to start making those encased beams and I just still don't know. Mm, can I? I'm sorry to the person that pointed out to me how I could make this without having to place the build. I can't remember. So it Oh, no, 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 no. What? What, what machine do I need? Is it a constructor then for the... So, it's... It's... The other one. Oh, yo, yo, uh, let me see this one then. There it is. Rotors and cable, but I don't have rotors. Oh, this there. Oh, no, 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 stop. Stop. Stator, sorry. How did I get my rotors then? Stator is pipe and wire, which I can both bring over from here to where I place the first uh, machine to make the versatile whatever thingy-mabobbas. 
so if I uh, then I make the stators and then to get to this one I will also need to bring over the cable which I make here and can then also transport over so I think those three so the uh, this the fair versatile framework is already going there I can make the stators then the, over there and I can make the automated wiring over there so I think I should just oh and this one that's again beams with concrete so it feels like it feels like I need more concrete over there because that's what's uh, slowing me down with with making beams and I've got enough ingots so if I can break bring sorry uh, concrete over which I can just take from there and go around bring over then I can make more beams which I then can use to let me see what I, I didn't mean to click it I'm sorry um, then I've got more beams then I can from that node mm, or also from that depot I'm not you know this should be enough just bring that over to the setup that I started using over there I'm going to think about this I'm going to think what works for me or that I maybe even in the middle make another a uh, little tiny setup and bring that over because if I'm between here and there would make encased beams would also work uh, where were we? it's not messy, no we were here with this one or the next one this one I did not prepare because I need to make this and I don't know how to do that uh, I let me see oh I can't see anymore oh apparently this one oh that's a car isn't it well oh, I'm a vehicle <laughs> explorer unlocked this personnel transport vehicle facilitates rapid traversal of difficult terrain and climbs like a mountain goat that has returned from extinction <laughs> Who doesn't want a car like that? <laughs> okay, let me see. That's all with stuff that I don't have. Or not have enough of. Why on earth did I have this one then? I sometimes wonder how my brain works. Seriously, I think I dumped stuff in there. That shouldn't be <laughs> have been dumped in there. Sulfur. Do we have something for silver? Yes, I do. And case beams. Yes, that's for my dogs. I love my dogs. Okay, let me see. What what did I prepare? Oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> you know, click of the button. And then you have more. <laughs> click. Detonator and basic nobelisk unlocked. Most obstacles can be cleared with the basic nobelisk. It is most effective against organic material and is able to destroy small boulders and porous rock. Deployed nobelisks will stick to the first solid surface they touch and cue on the universal detonator. If you do not recall the order in which you deployed the nobelisks, remember Fixit does not take responsibility mm. for any harm caused due to human error, even if those errors are genetic. <laughs> You wonder who's been sitting down and writing this all out. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, we've got this one, whatever it is. A surprise. Research completed. Experimental power generation research options are now available. These may enhance performance of other fuel sources. Okay. As in compacted coal. What? Why is that handy? I need to give a hard drive? 
Tun, 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 what? Wow! That's not nice. Take one out. I've got a few shitty ones in there. <laughs> and I've got some of this. I got that from uh, from one of those hard drive places. Turbo fuel. Wait. Cost me another hard drive? Oh boy. Okay. What else did I prepare? I have no idea. Probably not enough, as you can see. Rifle. Do, 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 do. What on earth did I do? I will uh, sort this all out. I think I wanted to go for the extra equipment, hand equipment slot. Uh, and I just didn't make enough. Oh, people, my gosh, we've done so much today. Well, for my idea, because there's a lot more that we can research now and make. Power poles too. I'm super happy with that. Yeah, beam production needs to be up. Oh yeah. Okay. So task is for for probably next time. I think I will already lay out the foundation to be able to transport those goods over. I might just use the same trackers that I did there, but then it splits up and goes that way uh, to keep it a bit neatly together. Um, I think that, that is the best thing to do because then uh, maybe I can get the help a little bit with... Um, I try to explain, oops, what my uh, struggle is, how I, when I look in a machine, I, I struggle with all these numbers and I I don't know which way to go to with the calculations. As I said, I do know I can do math. That's not the problem. But somehow, when there's a lot of numbers and recording, all with all, um, just blocks a bit my, my thinking. And if I understand, it's fine. Then we can just, then I can just go and I can go from there. So we are making some of the first style thingies, <laughs> names. Uh, we can make a lot more, uh, as in those things, what I seem to call the rotors, which is not rotors. Um, beams, encased beams. So there is a lot to do. There's a lot that we have to set up. I will start thinking about what would be the best way uh, and where would be the best way just to avoid the clogging a little bit and, and therefore the CPU usage of this game. Um, besides, I do like to see if I can make small factories that can work together uh, nature-wise. Because I find that just beautiful. If you see the rocks and so on sticking through. And to me, that makes it more alive. That's, but once again, that's my personal opinion about when I look at it. So, I did a lot. I really did a lot. I'm going to do a lot, lot more. I truly love this game and I would like to get it as far as that I as that I can. I want to see what it all is and what we can all do. And I hope to have your help with it. Sweet lovely people, thank you so very much for watching, for all your support and all the love that you're showing. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do next time. Got an idea which I just told you. Nevertheless, I will try to make it as fun as possible. So I hope to see you then.